All right, reading from the other Berg book. Installing the cam and cam break-in. says, always check the end clearance on the cam to cam thrust bearings. This measurement must be done with both the thrust bearing in place and the case bolted together. Uh, this can be done with a fine 400 emery cloth around a three-corner file. Care must be taken not to make the thrust width oversized, causing too much end play. So... I don't have any 400 grit emery cloth, but I do have some 600 grit. I've looked at my old camshaft that came out of that car. This side looks pretty well polished up. This side still has black on it. The new cam has got the black on it like he's talking about on both sides. I'm hoping to use the last engine I built boy last two engines I built were a real pain getting the right camshaft gear and getting it set up uh, right because I don't know who's manufacturing these new cases this is some kind of a parkerizing uh, coating that they put on these camshafts of course it's not on the bearing surface and I have to be careful with this three corner file that I'm not really touching that the corner is going to but it's not like I'm changing changing much and by golly it does come off sweet you can just barely see it on this file I think I'll go another round nothing magical here I'm not hiding anything I'm trying to go back and forth I want it to be to be flat. 600 grit isn't going to be removing a lot of material. But, this is the thrust side of the cam bearing and any roughness on that, your bearing material is real soft. But whenever you have surfaces like that, see what I'm doing right? I don't know if the light's good here. Just, just going around this edge and I can I can feel the difference, so I think I've done some good. And I'm sure there's people that put these things together all the time that don't. And I used to have those arguments. I was tired of arguing. These guys that I used to run with on the sand, they had their own ideas. And they, they did things their own way. And their equipment worked just as good, if not better, than mine. So, I don't know. Just, uh... Just the way it is. So, I'm happy with that. I found some uh, bolts. They don't have the grade 8 markings on them, but I remember taking this out of another cam, and it has the flare nut with the teeth on the bottom. <sighs> These are used, but they look like they're made to bite in, so I don't have to use a special lock washer, and this is kind of thin, so when I get my cam gear... These these should be sweet. These came off of another camshaft. And I do have some other bolts that have the grade 8 lines on them. But we'll see what the new cam gear looks like. And get that set up. Check it out. Alright. So we got that. Keep this stuff covered up, keep the dirt off of it, the can will get washed before I put it in, so that's not a big deal. Matter of fact, I think I'll put it in the back in a box right now. So, on to something else. <laughs> 